I fell in love with a Scorpio. It's a crazy story though. She was super pretty, the baddest in my portfolio. She was super sweet, I would eat her up like a Oreo. I don't know how I got her, I'm giving God all the glory though. And she was born in October or November. I really cannot remember. I hope it doesn't offend her. She told me that she loved me because I was so sweet and tender. And I would always defend her. And I was not a pretender. <laughs> but one day she was acting so mysterious. I was curious, and honestly, I was furious. Wasn't talking to me, she really had me delirious. I was overthinking, I didn't know she was serious. I thought maybe she had found somebody else but honestly she told me she was working on herself she took some time off to focus on her mental health and i had to accept it regardless of how i felt huh. but all in all what i learned in the end is i love scorpios i swear scorpios are 10 but be careful because as soon as you get in What's she up, might turn this is 1028 awakenings and i'm back again with another motherfucking video What's good, y'all? I hope everybody is looking good, feeling good, and motherfucking smelling good. Smelling good. All right. So let's get it, Scorpios. What's going on for my Scorpios? What my Scorpios need to know at this time? Okay, so somebody is acting a fool about you, okay? They calling somebody every night like, bitch, did you see that? Like, you know, niggas be kicking and acting like a nigga too, okay? So somebody is really acting a fool. They look like a clown out here, okay? They really embarrassing their motherfucking self. It says someone who knows that they are being childish and goofy, but doesn't care when a situation calls for maturity, okay? So somebody know that, they, that you do um, an apology or you do something, but they're like, nope. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. So somebody got their ass handed to them. They got the truth served cold straight to their dome and still overlooked it because they just didn't want to look wrong. You know what I'm saying? But this person still looked like a goddamn fool. They still look goddamn wrong. This person could have liked Lisa Frank back in the day. Okay, this is breaking somebody's heart. Oh my God. So somebody's heart is being broken because they're realizing somebody's not mature. Somebody's very immature and it's embarrassing. And it could like cost this person big being this immature. Okay. And with heartbreak here, this is somebody who is very attractive. Okay. Okay? and they be on their shit okay so somebody that's really responsible is with somebody who's very irresponsible and it's breaking this person's heart you know oh shit this person is married okay but they're not getting a divorce and there's a lot of legal things okay so it says legal business and bad contracts so somebody just be doing bad contracts they don't be handling business correctly you know what i'm saying shit don't be working out and this is draining this person but they don't want to say anything so this person is hiding that this is draining them damn like i mean look i'm not even doing this this person is in a marriage and they're hiding that this marriage is toxic okay so they could be betraying that this thing is really balanced but somebody know they grown and the other person is childish and it's breaking this person's heart and it's draining somebody's energy okay so somebody is full of life energy um any energy drainers in reverse is somebody who gives life. They inspire. They uplift. You know what I mean? And they real grown up about this shit. Somebody could have braids that go down to their ass. You know, somebody is legally married. And um, this this has something to do with buying Tiffany or somebody likes Tiffany or somebody could have Tiffany blue or Tiffany nail polish or just Tiffany bracelets or something like that. Okay, or they cut their nails could be Tiffany blue, but this person is married and this relationship is very toxic. This person knows that it is, but they don't want people to feel like they married the wrong person with this bad issues and bad legal contracts, you know, but somebody just be acting a fool and it's embarrassing. It's breaking somebody's heart. Okay, this situation has somebody something to do with somebody's motives, their, their, um, their uh, ranking in society and all the things that they achieved here. Okay, we also have two cards. Okay, so somebody is very happy oh okay so scorpio you're very high vibrational like even when somebody whoever this is they they are salty they fucking hate you okay so your body could be nice and slim slender this person body could be a little bit way different than yours they could be like you know not nice and slender they could be a little bit bad body a little bit out of proportion a little bit but this person is mad and they upset and it, it and, and they're trying to mask it and you're just very high vibrational you know you just doing what you got to do and even though you're right this person is not going to give you that because they acting a fool this this person's partner is ignoring them there's some kind of ignoring so you might be talking to your partner you might tell your partner like i just can't fuck with you or something is just going on they're like i just don't want to be with you so somebody is just not in the mood to be with their partner talk to their partner communicate with their partner yeah, at the bottom of the deck, you could just be focused on what you need to do, okay? Or this is you and your partner, y'all just not on the same page. Maybe journaling um, helps you, channeling your energy helps you, okay? 
this is this came out sideways all right because somebody's a slacker so you could be very high vibrational and all this person do is just watch you all day watch you make your quota watch you set these bars really high and then they jealous of you and they act a fool about you when you grown you about your shit you high vibrational you don't drain people's energy and with divorce here you could be single okay and this person could be married okay and this person could be trying to destroy a relationship that's very healthy in your life with toxic connection in reverse this is a very healthy connection that you have in your life that you're married to somebody or one of your married friends have a, a positive relationship with someone okay and somebody doesn't like this and someone's comparing that person to this other person and that person is a slacker okay but this person always act a fool on your dumb ass they don't like you okay <laughs> whoever this is they do not like your dumb ass okay all right let's see what else is going on in this connection we doing the 10 for 10 y'all we in there man we in there it's been hard but i'm gonna try to get this all done okay so we got hope i haven't given up on us so you know scorpio there is a guy out here and he really hasn't given up on y'all okay he miss you all right he want to kiss you he want to lay up with you and he hasn't given up so even if you've been pushing away scorpio this nigga coming back because he want it okay he hope he ain't too late she hopes she ain't too late scorpio males okay all right yeah and this is somebody who um didn't say they were sorry though okay this also could be somebody who has to turn their back on like the things that they believe to come towards you and they hope that there's still time to do so with forgiveness here in reverse there was a lot of people that was going against you because because of whatever you did it was unethical we got forgiveness and religion so this person had to turn their back on a lot of people that they known for a really long time to come fuck with you yeah and it was a secret that they was coming to fuck with you yeah yeah mm-hmm being a part of you has allowed me to yeah so being apart from you has been hard and they've been trying to bring clarity to other people but it's making them push them away from people and these are people they've known for a long time i mean it's crazy how spirituality can change things but somebody's looking at no it's the demon in this woman or it's the demon in this girl that's changing you but really it's like you know i'm gonna give you this example i used to go to new birth and everybody who went to new birth with me was like, oh, you don't like new birth because the pastor was touching people? No, that's not why. The congregation turned into a vicious fight where people were defending Bishop and then people were defending the kids instead of just praying for both parties because neither one of them, you know, really had a fighting chance. You know, one was, these people were groomed up until, so that was fucking confusing. And he over here with a wife when he know he really want Bati. You know what I'm saying? So it was a lot of stuff going on. And instead of condemning the pastor, which a bishop, or condemning, you know, one of the kids, which I know some of them, okay, when I was growing up in the church, because I grew up in New Birth. I grew up on New Birth was on Wesley Chapel, then moved over there to Balatonia. I've been there my whole life, you know? And what hurt the most is that no one just prayed or just put soul in seeds because they were just fucked up. Even a bishop, because he never admitted to it. You see what I'm saying? But just saying, hey, man, I struggle with shit too. I, I understand. I, I don't understand that. I ain't going to lie to you because if it was my kid, I'd probably be behind bars. But the point is, he a human and them kids human and they all going through some shit we shouldn't be fighting for bishop so he won't even tell us the truth we shouldn't be fighting for these kids so because you know even if so you got to tell your mama you got and i know that he attacked i mean i don't want to get too deep into it but the point is you shouldn't be attacking nobody you should really just be praying for clarity for both of these people all of these people because they got exposed they got to walk around for their life these articles be pulled up anytime somebody google somebody name it's just a bigger picture but people don't care they just want to destroy they just want to talk shit about you they just want to light you on fire and put you to a tree and kill you and it's horrible because these people are still here today calling people witches, burn, die. I hope you'll, you don't pay your bills. I hope you die. It's like, what is going on with that kind of energy? And where do you think you're going to go with that? So you got to be very careful about giving this energy to family and saying that they're doing this all in the name of Yahshua. All in the name of, of, of Christ consciousness. Because that's not Christ consciousness. That's something totally different, okay? And these are some these are people that they had strong ties with. They realize that they negative, you know? You know, spiritual people don't come after nobody. You know, people are always coming after me. I'm like, girl, I ain't even stunned you. I'm trying to do this 10 for 10. Go over here, watch this one little 30-minute show with my baby, which is probably going to be bluey. Then I'm going to come back and go here and try to do my 10 for 10 for tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? But they be worried about what you're doing, how you're doing it, and who you're doing it with. And that's how they be behind, and you be so ahead. Because, baby, ain't nobody going to out-hustle no Scorpio unless it's a Capricorn. <laughs> Shout out to the Capricorn. You feel me? What's the takeaway message from my Scorpios? Damn. So somebody's going to be in despair. 
Whoever this is acting a fool that's doing all this shit behind your back, this going to enter this person not having no job being laid off this person could have a dog this person could be struggling this person could be just really broke down this could end in a lot of despair for this person because they keep coming after you scorpio Woo. 32 could be significant i love you guys bye won't stop even when things get hard i will never fold i'm making my own title i'm making my own way